Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, my name. Hello, good evening. Hey, hello, Pablo. How are you? I'm great. Okay, good. Ready. Ready. Ready, ready, ready. Okay, good. Danilo is also here. Okay, guys, just let me. Hello, good evening. Hello. Okay, we have here. This is okay. This is where we stopped yesterday, right? <clears throat> where we had to to see in this section the. Sound natural when speaking, but when using some intonation and listening. Let me see that this is kind of slow today, so I'm going to use this one better. Okay. Now let me check the sound. Here we go. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. <clears throat> okay. In this session, participants will listen to intonation with direct address. This helps sound natural when speaking. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. For the name. The pause before the name. Intonation and a pause. There is usually falling intonation. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. Okay, so you see that there is um, a pause. Okay, a pause here. The comma and the following intonation before the name, right? Then it says... You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. Okay, now we're gonna see the practice. Really fit, Paul. You're really fit, Paul. They say, you're really fit, Paul. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. She looks tired, James. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Remember to listen and practice as many times as needed. They say, I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. So then you see that the falling, or when the voice goes down, is where you see the comma. 
okay there is a little stop like a pose right and they say you're really fit Paul she looks tired James and I feel great Dr. Lee okay or you can use another intonation like I feel great Dr. Lee I feel great Dr. Lee no I feel great Dr. I mean it's going up no it's going down okay good then the next one it's uh, here with this intonation. Let's see how many people we have now in this moment. 12. Okay, good. A minor, minor, minor. Can you please read the three sentences? You really fit, Paul. He looks terrible, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, good. Pablo? I feel great. Good. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Good. Okay, Beatriz? Um, you're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, very good. Jenny. Your feel fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, good. Excellent. Saul? You really fit, Paul. She looks tired. <laughs> James, I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, very good. And Elena? Good evening. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, okay, Alan? You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, very good. Excellent. Now we have uh, Santos. You really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, good. Now we have uh, Alejandro. You really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Good. Juan Navas? John? Yes, yes, teacher. You really, you really fit, Paul. She looked tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have now uh, Mariana. You really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, good. Hey, Marina. You are really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, thank you. All right, Danilo. Danilo, can you hear me? Yes. Probably she's having some issues with the internet. Okay, Luis Alberto, can you please read? Hi, teacher. Hello. Uh, you're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Okay, good. All right. Uh, remember that with this kind of intonation, falling intonation, okay, or when you go with the there are some cases in which the intonation is up. It makes your English sound different, right? So this is why, you know, sometimes you it's like when you listen to people speaking Spanish, uh, people from Mexico speaking Spanish, people from Guatemala. So we have different intonations, right? 
Argent people from Argentina, okay, they have another intonation, okay. Uh, people from Spain, okay, they have other intonation. So in English it's the same, right? So in English we need to imitate, we need to use that kind of intonation as well, right? When we say you're really fit, Paul, okay, so you're giving you know that hey, you look nice, and say she looks tired, James. Okay, your daughter, your daughter looks tired. Your wife looks tired. Or you can say, okay, your uh, your wife looks great, James. Okay, so you can use different expressions, right? And you say, doctor, I feel great, Dr. Lee. I feel excellent, Dr. Lee. Or you can say, I feel bad, Dr. Lee. I feel terrible, Dr. Lee. Okay, but always going down. So no matter uh, the expression, right? Just remember before the names, okay? Um, like it says here, uh, there is usually, not always, falling intonation in a pose before the name, okay? Dr. Lee, James, and Paul. Good. Now let's see the next one in, uh, Marion, can you please read this objective here in this lesson? In this lesson, participants will listen and follow a conversation about fitness. 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 Oh, yes, it says fitness. You're right, you're right. Uh -huh. Okay. Notice questions with how are short answers okay very good okay but we're going to talk about fitness okay when like when you go to the gym right so how people feel or look very fit okay here you see i am a real fitness freak what is a fitness freak uh-huh no a person who is, you know, like obsessed, right? With uh, with the fitness, right? So okay. that um, it can be fitness freak, control freak, okay? There are people that are, you know, obsessed with the control of things. They want to control everything. That's a control freak, okay? Uh, for example, in, in my case, I am a chocolate freak, okay? I love chocolate. Or, you know, he's a pupusa freak, okay? A person who likes a lot of pupusas, right? So when you like something much or you do something of much, then you become a freak, right? So like going like a little bit crazy about something. Okay, so then it's a, a real fitness freak. And then it says a, there is a conversation between Ruth and Keith, right? They are talking about the shape, Okay, they are also talking about fitness, how often, okay, how often they do things, uh, the frequency, twice a week, uh, play tennis every week and that is stuff, okay? Now listen. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. <clears throat> good. Now, listen again and pay attention to the vocabulary, okay? Vocabulary and... In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi everyone, are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. 
I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. Questions about vocabulary, people? Or expressions? Do you play? Any new, new words or phrases? Hey, teacher, is, is, is the question in fitness, fitness freak? Mm -hmm. Fitness freak. When you have an obsession, you have an obsession, you are about being very fit, okay? To have a very nice body, right? So then you go to the gym every day and probably you do exercise three or four hours. You have a diet, you don't eat, uh, uh, you eat a special food, special vitamins and everything. So everything in your life is related or connected to be in good physical condition, okay? So then too much, I mean, it's good, right? It's good, but not too much, okay? Because when it is excess and when you are, uh, let's say, obsessed with it, then you are a freak, okay? You are a little bit crazy about it. Okay. It's right. in the street, free in the street, or in men, in men, in screen, in context. In, the in context. Free, free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a context. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, fitness freak. Okay. Como apasionado, loco por la buena figura, right? Okay. That would be the one. Okay. Thank you, Richard. No, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, any other uh, word or expression? Real fitness freak. Aerobics sounds like fun. No, right? No problem. Okay, good. Then, uh, Alan, please read the part of, of uh, Keith. And Elena, you read the part of Ruth, okay? Okay. You are in great shape, okay? Keith? Keith. Thanks. I guess I am really fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Did you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. A few tips. Okay, very good. That's nice. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay, then uh, let me see. A minor, you are Keith. Right, and Beatrice, you are Ruth. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I, I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and apply tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Very well, I guess. Well, all right. 
but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll help you ask you ask you. I'll give you I'll give you I'll give you I'll a give few you. a few a few a few tips. Okay, a few tips. I'll, I'll give, give you a few tips. That's correct. Thank you, Mike. All right, very good. Okay. Then um, one more, one more, uh, Paulo and Jenny. You're in great shape, give. Then I am guess I am really a fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobic trick twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometimes? Okay. But oh, do you want to? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, very good. All right, thank you very much. Uh, now we're going to continue with the... Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, um, just one, I'll give you a, a tip. A few tips. Well, all right, but I'm not... Okay, when you, when you read, remember, eh, eh, unir palabras, right? Because that's uh, like what we do in Spanish, okay? And in English, they do the same. For example, listen to this part. A lot of fun. A lot of, a lot of fun. She doesn't say a lot of fun, no, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? How well do you play? How well do you, do you? How well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Pretty well, I. Pretty well, I guess. Okay. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. But I'm not. But I'm not. Okay, they use but I. But I'm not. But I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, it says I'll give you a few tips. Okay, and in that way. If you say, for example, you're in great shape, uh, thanks, I guess I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a real, I'm a real fitness. Uh, how often do you work out? Work out, okay, work out, say work out. I do aerobics twice a, twice a week, twice a week, and I play tennis every week. That sounds like a lot of, like a lot of, Okay, so these are tips, you know, for you to read more fluent and to speak more fluently, right? Not, don't try to, to pronounce every word because then it sounds slower. Okay, this is a way to, that you can do when you practice by yourselves. Okay. I'll give you a few tips. Okay. Now we have some practice. In the sections, participants will watch and study questions with how, okay, and short answers. Okay, pay attention to questions like how long, how much, how many, okay? And then you are going to practice them. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. 
Hello everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Okay, listen again. In this session, participants will watch and study questions with how and to give short answers. Hello everyone. We will go over four important questions we can ask in order to know frequency and performance. Notice all questions begin with how. Pay attention. Questions with how. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Okay, notice that in the previous questions, it says how often do you, how long do you, how well do you, okay? But in this question is how good are you? And there is a preposition at. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. How? How often? How long? They refer to times or frequency. How well? How good? They refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How long do you spend at school? How well do you speak English? How good are you at speaking English? Please answer these questions on our discussion box. Or frequency. How well, how good, they refer to performance. How often do you go to English class? How good? How? How often? How? Not so good. How? How often? Wait, average. average. Okay. Not. All right. There. Okay. Look at this one. For example, when you say "How good are you?", you can use, for example, the. Let me see. Where is the topic? Title here. Okay. How good? How good are you? Now we're going to use three. Okay. And then, for example, when you say questions with how. You can say, how good are you at uh, languages? Okay. How good are you at languages? Danilo? You can use these answers. Uh, I'm pretty good. Okay. Then you say, for example, I'm, you say, I'm pretty good. All right. Okay. 
then this is when you're talking about nouns right you can say how good are you at soccer how good are you at sports how good are you at mathematics okay but if you have an action okay you say how good are you at cooking okay how good are you at cooking let's see luis alberto how good are you at cooking i'm pretty good i'm, be, I'm pretty good pretty good okay now i invite you to my house one day okay for a barbecue yes, okay. Sounds um, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm pretty good all right so there you go i'm pretty good then if you see uh, nouns am i right here okay. yes all right uh, in the second uh oh good are you at cooking cooking are uh -huh. pretty good i am pretty good uh -huh. it's not i am very good you can use to that one no problem okay you can also use that one okay i'm Let's very see. good i am really good okay you can say i'm pretty good i'm very good and i'm really good okay so you can use pretty good uh, it's not here uh, no they don't have it here but you can say very good and you can also say i'm really good at it okay no problem okay so then if you see in this sentence you can see using a verb if we use a verb ing and then it que tan bueno es para cocinar okay Teacher. action action uh-huh and um, when uh, i refer to use something with a computer or a lamp, something. Mm -hmm. How do you uh, make the question? The, uh, you want to say this one? How good are you at computers? Que tan bueno eres con las computadoras, right? Now, if you want to yes. ask the reparar computadoras, then you can say, how good are you at fixing computers? Okay. That's different, right? Okay. And use? I only how good are you at computers? Okay. Okay. Thank how you. good are you at mathematics? How good are you at mathematics, Elena? I'm very good. Okay. How good are you at teaching mathematics? I'm very good too. <laughs> All right. Good. Okay. But you see two different things. One is the knowledge and the other one is the ability to teach. Okay. Yes. So okay. then in this case for example we're talking about the ability to learn languages and here we're talking about the ability to do an action okay how okay. good are you uh, for example let me see here i have a question for where let me see if it's here alan no uh, what is javier today he's not here today no okay good but then a uh, let's see uh, Marina, how good are you at driving? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Did you hear that? I'm not so good. Teacher. Okay, todos oyeron, but she was really surprised, right? Yes. Okay, so you say, I'm not. What do you say, Marina? I'm not so good, teacher. Perfect. Okay, listen to that answer. I'm not so good. It means so so, right? I am not so good. Thank you, Marina, for your honesty. Okay. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Yes, teacher, but for necessary. Okay. But I don't like it, right? <laughs> okay. What color is it? Um, green, green uh -huh. with orange. Okay. People, like. if, you see, if you see a green car and orange, be careful, okay? It's, my, yes. it's, Marina, it's Marina driving. <laughs> be careful, please. Okay. All right. Be careful. Just uh, move aside, okay? Good. Thank you, Marina. I think uh, the other one is, uh, then this is for the question, how good, okay, how good are you at driving? Okay, how good are you at learning? Uh, learning anything, right? 
how good are you at running? Okay. And then you can ask different questions. Good. Then you have how long, how often, and how well. Uh, there are others. For example, voy a usar acá las que no están ahí. Like for example, how far? How far is San Miguel from from uh, San Salvador? Okay, this is about if you see um, here in the video, how often is the frequency, right? Uh, how long? You can say the time, okay? How long, 30 minutes, two hours, about. How long is about time? How well is an action, right? How well do you play tennis, okay? And how good is also for nouns and actions. And here you have a question with distance. How far is San Miguel from San Salvador? Who knows? Let's say we can use about. About you, two hours? About in distance and kilometers or miles. Uh, 160 kilometers, yes. Could be about two hours, no problem. But in kilometers, about 160 kilometers, I guess, I'm not sure. Okay, or kilometers, or a Genesis about two hours if you want to use it in time. Okay, then you can use both, or what else? This is how far, the distance. Different from how, how many? How many kilo, okay, how many? Okay. How many hours? You know, this is more more general, right? When you say how how many? How many how many hours do you study? English, English, okay. And then say how many hours a week do you study English? How many? About Six hours, seven hours, okay, about seven hours. Four hours in the class here, and probably three more hours that you can do during the week in your house, okay? Too much space here. Okay, good. Okay, so these are some examples of questions and you can write and that you can write more, okay? How much too, no? Oh yes, how much? What happened? Okay, what happened when we use uh, how much? How much, we can also use it for time. Okay, how much time do you spend at the gym? Or also when we are talking about? Money. Money, that's correct, right? Okay, how much money do you spend in, on clothes? How much money do you spend on food? Okay, how much money do you spend on, on gas? Okay, on gas for your car. Uh, how much time do you spend uh, commuting from your job to your house and vice versa, okay? Okay, what other words you can use with how much? Oh, with, sorry, with how? How much? Okay, how well? Now, how often do you go to English class? 
what's the answer for this? Saul, how often do you go to English class? Your microphone. Okay. Okay. Uh, I English class in every day in week. Okay, every day during the week. You say I go to English class four times a week. I go to English class from Monday to Thursday. Okay, or every day during the week. Okay, that's another one. Okay, good. Thank you, Saul. Uh, Alejandro, how long do you spend at work? I'm going to change here because you don't go to school. Unless uh, you are a well, teacher. In this moment, I am in class and then I work in two. Okay, good. Are you, are you a teacher? No. Okay, good. So then you're not working. Okay, so then I say how long? One hour, two hours. Uh, uh, yes? Or more? I don't know. No, 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 no. Continue, please. Okay, good. Then uh, let me see here. Mario, Mario Guevara. We have Mario here. Hi, how, good night. Good evening. Good evening. How well do you speak English, Mario? Um, not bad. I'm not that. I'm not bad. <laughs> okay, very good. I'm not that bad. Así va a decir, ¿verdad? I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Okay, no, I'm right. Not that, I'm not that bad. Okay, I'm, I'm not that bad. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. Great. That's the answer. That's the answer. Uh, let me see, Marian. How good? Look, here it is in ing. How good are you at speaking English? I'm not so good. But you sound good. <laughs> okay. You say I'm not so good, but it sounds good. Uh, well, yes. please, how good are you at cooking lasagna? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. Okay. Beatrice, ask a question to Jenny from this four. Um, you can change something, no problem. Uh, using uh, how? Yes. How often, how long, how well, how good, how far, how much, how many. Okay. Um, how much money do you spend on food? Uh, how much spend? ¿Cómo fue la pregunta, perdón? How, okay. How much money do you spend on food? I spend a lot of money on food. A lot of money on food. <laughs> Yes. Because I have children. So. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's true. Okay, good. And Jenny, ask a question to Danilo. Okay. Okay. You can invent questions. Well, how many? How often do you go to the capacitaciones? Trainings. Training. Training. How often do you go? Mm -hmm. Okay. How often do you go to trainings at work? At work. Mm. I go to training at work the twice uh, a month. Twice a month. Okay. Very good. I mean, it's two times, two times a month. Excellent, yes. okay? Good, and then for example, you can also ask questions like how many days are there in a week? 
How many days are there in a month? How many minutes are there in one hour? Just to practice, right? And to uh, practice vocabulary too. Okay, Danilo, ask a question to Santos. Okay. Let me see. I have a question, teacher. Mm -hmm. How much is the saying that I say how many and when I refer to a money? No, uh, because uh, how much is for things that we cannot count? Count. One, two, three, four. Yes. Okay. And how many is for things that we can count? For yes. example, we can say how many days, but we cannot say how much days. Mm -hmm. Okay, when we say how much money, is we are referring to the word money, not to the bills. Okay, okay. how much money do you have? I have $10. How many bills do you have? Only one, a $10 bill. Okay, or oh, I have two bills. How many bills do you have? I have two two five dollar bills in that case you use plural okay so okay. how much is for things that have no plural okay uh, how long uh, do you no how far do you uh, drive to your house from your work from your house to your work, uh-huh. How far? Yes. Um, one hour. One hour, about one hour. Yes. It's a long distance. And right. Salagosa mm -hmm. and San Salvador. Ah, uh, but because of the traffic. Yeah. Oh, yes. Traffic. And sure. no traffic in... 30, 35 minutes. Yes, okay. So it's not the traffic, it's not the, the distance, it's the traffic. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Santos. Now, uh, Santos, ask a question to to Juan. Okay, I think Juan is, a, yes. Okay. How good practicing a sport? How good are you? Are, how, how good are you practicing sport? Yes, yes, I am. We practice. Good or bad? Good or, or bad. Or, or, very, or very good? Already very good. good. Very good. Okay. Very good one. Okay. Good. Juan, what sports do you practice? In soccer, soccer. Uh, basketball, basketball uh, in surf. Mm, more or less. More or less. Okay, so then you're good at, yes, you're good at sports. Soccer, basketball, and surfing. Okay, that's good. Excellent. Okay, Juan, ask a question to, to Elena. Elena's next to you. Okay, Elena. Uh, how well do you play in football? Softball. Softball, yes. Uh, tell me. Softball. I don't play softball. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Well, I, I don't play softball. Okay. <laughs> good, Elena. Ask a question to Saul. Okay, so how good are you at swimming? Okay. Uh... I'm pretty good. Okay, I'm pretty good. Right, great. Okay, and Saul, the last question to Mario. Mario, okay. How well do you cook seafood? <laughs> Repeat, please. <laughs> Repeat, please. Repeat the question, Saul. How well? Okay. How well do you cook seafood? How well do you cook seafood? Seafood. Um, I'm not so good. Okay. 
I'm not so good with. Yes. Yes, especially you know some uh, shrimps, lobsters, uh, seafood. You know. Yeah, I'm That's... not so good. Okay, well, it's a pity. All right, good. Uh, then these are questions using uh, expressions with how often, how long, how well, how good, how many, and others. Okay, now let's see the knowledge check. Okay, and see what we can answer. Okay, let me see. Luis Alberto, tell me the first one. The first one. Mm. Yes, complete the following questions. Guide yourself with the answers. Okay, I guess I'm pretty good. I often play on weekends. What is the question? Oops, I show you the answer. <laughs> okay. Uh, how, how, how well are you at volleyball? Okay, when you use the question at, I mean the preposition at, we use how? How good are you at? How good are you at? Look, it's magic. How good are you at volleyball? Okay, so I guess I'm pretty good. I often play on weekends. Okay, good. A minor, what's the number two? La respuesta es la guía, okay? About an hour after dinner, I like to chat with my friends. Remember the four questions that we have in the, in the, in the video, right? How long, how often, how well, and how good? How often, how well, how long, and how good? How long? How? How long? How long? Are you sure? How long what? I like to chat with my friends. Yeah, but you say how long? It's one part, but you need to complete the question. Okay. How long, how long? How long are you? How long? How long are you spend online? Mm. How long do you do? Do you? Do How you long? Do, do. How long do? Do you what? Do you spend? Do you time? spend? Okay, that's correct, right? Uh, how long do you spend online? Okay, this is the question here. Okay, how long do you spend online? about an hour after dinner. This is how much time. Okay, you can say how much time do you spend online? Okay, good. Uh, Marian, number three. Once or twice a month is a good way to relax. How often play, do you play cards? Okay, how often do you? Okay, this is the complete question. Remember, how often do you, do you? Okay. play cards? Thank you very much. All right. And Marina? Mm, how well do you type? Okay, how well do you type? Not very well, actually. I need to take a typing class. Okay, well, how well can you? No problem. Okay. It's similar. Good, and then we have the answers here. How well can you? How often do you? How long do you? And how good are you? And then we have 50-50. Okay, so that's the perfect score. 
Okay, questions? Yes. Uh, uh, well, now I think you have uh, clear how, go how good, how long, and how often, and how well. But just remember that when we are using a here in the video, I'll tell you, right? How often do you, okay? In this case, right? How long do you spend? How well do you play and how good are you? Okay, so when you want to complete, depends on the answer. Okay, you're gonna use do you. Just make sure that you complete questions, right? This is only the, the WH question. Okay, but the for the information, but the question is here, do you? Okay. And here we have a spell check here now. Check your knowledge. All right, and then we have, in the sections, participant will read a survey about a survey about about health and fitness notice all questions with how okay what is a survey okay Inquesta. yes we're gonna make a survey here okay uh, what do you prefer to eat Okay, what do you prefer to eat? Chicken or pizza? Beatriz? Um, chicken, chicken pizza. you know, like, I don't know, like, chicken like Don Pollo, <laughs> like Don Pollo. Okay, <laughs> or where pizza, okay, Alejandro? I like pizza. Hey, teacher, sorry. Uh, do you prefer uh, pizza or chicken? Pizza, always. Pizza, always. Santos? Pizza. Pizza, okay, good. Mario? I prefer pizza. Pizza, too. Elena? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. <laughs> okay. I prefer pizza, too. Pizza, too. Okay, what is pizza, too? Okay, good. Juan? Pizza or chicken? Chicken, pizza. Chicken, wow, good. We have one. Saul. Chicken. Chicken, two. Two, three. Okay, Jenny. Both. Uh, both. <laughs> yeah. Both. Both. Okay, good. Both. Minor. Pizza. Teacher. Pizza. Okay, four, two, one. Okay, good. Then uh, Danilo, pizza, chicken, or both? I prefer to eat. Pizza. Pizza, okay, good. Paulo? It's depending on, <laughs> on how they could eat. Okay, good. So both? The two? Uh, chicken. Chicken, okay, good. Alan? Pizza, pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. okay, that's six. Marina? Chicken, pizza. Chicken, okay, good. Marian? Chicken. Chicken, okay, it's almost the same. And Luis Alberto? I prefer chicken, teacher. Chicken, too. And Daniel? <gasps> Daniel, are you there? Okay, good. A little disempathy, okay, that 50-50. <laughs> Okay, I think it's almost the same, right? 50% like chicken, 50% like uh, pizza. And Jenny likes both. She's the only one that she mentioned that she likes both, right? Uh, well, in my case, both too. But a little more tendency to pizza. Okay, I have to admit it, okay? I love pizza. Okay, Hello? guys. Oh, who? Who spoke? Daniel. Okay, Daniel. What do you like, Daniel? Pizza or chicken? Hello. Yes, Daniel. 
Chicken. Chicken. <laughs> that was fun. How much? <laughs> uh, I prefer uh, chicken. Okay, I prefer perfect. chicken. Okay, thank you. Chicken. Yes, I prefer chicken. Chicken, okay. Juan, así como se hacen false, se falsean las, cuest las encuestas, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, people, thank you very much. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna uh, we're gonna do some reading. Vamos a hacer una lectura, right? Um, si pueden avanzar y leerlo, mañana eh, vemos pronunciación, okay, y significados, okay. So that's all for today, people. So see you Thank tomorrow. You very much. Eh, trabajen, okay. trabajen todos los días en las plataformas y ya saben que si tienen preguntas, dudas, no duden en hacerlas, right? Para solventar cualquier punto gramatical o vocabulary. Okay, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.